Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, the great showdown for Undisputed, the World Heavyweight Championships all coming together for the first time, could be made this year, 2019. We didn't think it might happen, we were worried that Deontay Wilder didn't want it, but now he is meeting with the zone officials with a view to make a fight with Anthony Joshua and possible other fights on the zone also. The platform is growing, it has Golovkin, Canelo and Anthony Joshua, and now all of the bigger stars are thinking, okay, all these other fighters are having these great deals and great legacy fights, and we're getting nothing, so they're all going to DAZN, and I think it's great because we will get the fights that we want to see. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so it'll be on Sky Sports, but still, we get those great fights in America. Anthony Joshua is making his US debut on June 1st against Gerald Miller in Madison Square Garden. He has already broke records over there, so he is doing great, and it is great to see how world boxing is growing. And now we will likely get Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for undisputed World Heavyweight Championships, all of the belts being brought together for the first time in history. It could be in America, it could be in the UK. Wembley is a great venue for this, but hopefully Deontay Wilder is now keen to make this fight and he will not go back on his word. Obviously he has to fight Dominic Brazil first and get him out of the way, and Anthony Joshua has to face Gerald Miller first and get him out of the way. But if they get past their respected interim fights, then the fight could happen in November, December. An early Christmas present for us, the fans of world boxing, we get to see undisputed. Two big punches, two undefeated champions coming together to unify all of the belts. This is going to be great, I just hope it can get made, because obviously you have Shirley Finkel probably trying to thwart the deal. He's been back on about this BT deal backed by Frank Warren, the 50 million offer, but that's in the past now. We are moving forward and Deontay Wilder is meeting with DAZN about a possible interim fight and then going into the Anthony Joshua fight. So obviously Shelley Finkel is against this, he doesn't want Deontay Wilder to go to the zone. But the time has come for Deontay Wilder to get rid of Shelley Finkel, leave Showtime, go to the zone and make Undisputed. He can't do anything else really, because obviously he faces Dominic Brazil. He won't get that much money for that unless he goes to the zone. And obviously he can't get the Tyson Fury rematch, which I don't think he really wanted anyway, because Tyson Fury would have beat him. But still, he cannot get those fights, so who else is he going to face? Unless he goes to the zone, he will not get the money that he wants, and... He will not get the platform that he wants to show his fights because obviously if he has an interim fight against Dominic Brazil with a view to face Anthony Joshua after, the interest in this fight with Dominic Brazil will be huge and great and obviously you have Anthony Joshua fans tuning in to watch that fight to see how he does. So that is why he needs to go to the zone and why he knows he has to go there now, he has to make this move. Obviously he's going to have to work with Eddie Hearn to make the Anthony Joshua fight which he said he doesn't trust Eddie Hearn but that was just an excuse, I don't think he really cares about that. He just didn't want Anthony Joshua but now he is being forced and backed up into a corner. He has to take this fight. And now I believe he will. I believe this fight could happen in November, December. So how would this fight go? Who wins? I think Anthony Joshua will come out boxing, try and outbox the Deontay Wilder, confuse him. And then I think he will try and knock him out. He won't want this fight to go the distance. He will want to take him out in fashion. So I think, to be honest, the early rounds will be slightly cagey. But I think Anthony Joshua will get the upper hand using his jab and movement and positioning. Because Deontay Wilder is a little bit ragged. He doesn't really know how to put together a combination. He will throw single shots trying to land, but I think he will be completely confused by Anthony Joshua. And then obviously when Anthony Joshua starts landing, Deontay Wilder will be ready to go. I think to be honest, Anthony Joshua will be too powerful, too strong, too fast for Deontay Wilder. Obviously you have Deontay Wilder who throws straight shots, Anthony Joshua throws more hooks. But against Alexander Povetkin, Anthony Joshua had to change his game plan. He squatted down slightly, got into a smaller stance, made himself a little bit smaller and tight, and threw straight shots. And that is what got Alexander Povetkin out of there eventually. I think he will have to do the same against Deontay Wilder, throw straight shots and straight down the barrel. And that is what will stop Deontay Wilder from coming forward. And then he can tee off on Deontay Wilder and land a big shot and hopefully get him out of there. I think that will be Anthony Joshua's game plan. Use his feet, use his movement. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? Deontay Wilder going to the zone and the possible fight with Anthony Joshua. And how do you think the fight will play out? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.